Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul. Once again with your anomaly mission for the weekend. So, I've been relatively quiet this week. Uh, I've had my usual video that comes out on Wednesday. I've got another one that will be coming out tomorrow. That is Saturday. Um, in a new series that I'll be producing very soon, I'll be doing a permadeath playthrough. Uh, basically, the storyline playthrough, we're not going to really like uh, do a lot of the voice acting and stuff like that. We're just going to play the game is all we're going to do here. But we're going to do it in permadeath mode with just the standard settings on permadeath. But we're going to lock them, of course, so we don't go in there and, you know, do anything with them. But today we're going to do the anomaly mission and see what's going on with that. I'm not going to do a whole lot of speculation on when uh, we think anything is going to happen in regards to this update or the possibility of an expedition. Um, I'm not going to say anything at all. No, that's not true. Of course, I'm going to say something. I still think it's... I really thought it was going to be this week, uh, historically speaking, but I think that the good reasoning behind why Hello Games has waited is because of the VR 2 that's coming out for PlayStation. So, um, that's strange. I don't, I don't remember uh, being on this planet, but hey, you know, who cares? Doesn't really make a difference. I was doing, oh, that's right. I was doing a little bit of uh, research on my main character and bouncing around between different systems and stuff like that, checking some things out. So, but anyway, finding crash ships and seeing what they were. So as you can see, I found this a class ship it's not too shabby not too shabby on this wonderful little planet over here but uh yeah nothing special just wanted to check things out it's amazing these lovely systems that you can find like this i always like finding things like this and of course they usually only have one type of anomalous animal on the entire system so you might as well just scan it and call it a day and if you have to be on one of these planets and you see one of these just as a side note grab it it's a glitching separator. In this case, it is a item that you can collect. And you can now add it to your inventory, and you can put it on your base. It's a nice little item you can have on your base if you want it. Anyway, moving along, we wanted to do our anomaly mission. So let's go ahead and get out of this place and take a look. system a little bit there we go so yeah it, it was a pretty good idea that they waited you know obviously that makes kind of sense you know it, it released everything at the same time big hype from the PlayStation side of things on the PlayStation Store No Man's Sky is on sale for half the price it normally is so that's a good thing for anybody who wants to grab it I suggest doing so in VR if you can afford to get the VR system for 500 bucks by all means knock yourself out it will look absolutely amazing in VR uh, not something I can afford, that's for sure. I mean, uh, I've already had some complaints about my audio, for crying out loud. I can't afford one of those really nice microphones, so I have to, you know, settle for what I've got. So, deal with it. But anyway, let's see what our anomaly mission's all about. As you can see, I've got multiplayer turned on, so we'll be seeing lots and lots of guests floating in and out. Let's see what our mission is this week. Looks like we're eliminating hazardous flauna... Uh, flauna... Flauna? That's a combination of flora and fauna. It's basically plants that are alive and run around the planet after you and chase you down. No, uh, flora. Hazardous flora. Now, I've had a situation where in the past I've selected the mission and then suddenly it turns out to be a completely different mission. So it doesn't look like anybody's in it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize and start because frankly I don't want anybody piggybacking on me. But that's okay. There we go. And even if they do, that's perfectly fine. And I think I've shown you these before. There we go. Where we do this specific mission where you have to take out dangerous plants. You know, those nasty things that attack you as you're running across the landscape. You're going to be taking a whole bunch of those out. And, uh, yeah, I hate those things. They drive me up the wall, especially if you're doing, like, a permadeath run and you're trying to keep an eye on things and you're not really paying close enough attention to the landscape because you're looking for buildings and stuff and all of a sudden one of those things hits you and it's like, oh, good grief. What are you going to do, right? All right, looks like we're in the system they want us to go to, the Elden Hilo 17 system. Okay. So, discovered by Stu. Well, that's great, Stu. 
Thank you very much for discovering a lovely system. Looks like we're aiming at this planet over here. Let's go ahead and head that way. Oops, wrong button. Uh, foggy planet, it looks like it said. Okay, good. Oh, and that's not the planet we were going to anyway. Going to this planet. Didn't have a chance to scan it. Oh, one of these planets. Heavily colored. Oh, and it changes as you get closer. How really cool is that? Okay, nice. Looks like we've got a little bit of a storm going on right now. I don't see anything like storm crystals or anything like that, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just park our butt down here. I'm not going to look for any kind of landing pad this time. So we're supposed to look for the Fallen Traveler first. That's always the first thing you do on these specific missions. This general direction. Okay. Okay, so right about this way. Now, if you do this, sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. I'm not going to scan the animals right now. Alright, let's head this way. And we've got those heat storms going on, so we can travel quite a ways while we're looking for stuff. Ah, okay, we kind of died off. Lost our forward velocity. This way. Still this way. Okay, over here. I'm seeing some communication devices, so I'm going to guess that it's over here. Looks like we already have some hazardous flora down there. Uh, if you have this uh, desire to take out the flora right now, don't. And I happen to have a cat that is trying to take over my desk again. Love it. Alright, so I'm going to guess that that's it right there, or over in this general direction. Let's take a look. Yep, there he is. Looks like we've had some friends here. <laughs> Rest in peace. Love it. Strangling vines. Very little ammunition. Alrighty. So now we can take out those lovely plants. And it will tell us where they are. But it says they're too weak. So don't listen to that. Okay? Just go a little ways. And you see how this plant suddenly showed up? It just hasn't found them yet. So by all means, you can take out these plants... There we got one. We need 15 of them. There's apparently another one very weak over this way. But you know what? I say this every time, and I know you guys have heard me say it before. Look for a cave. Look at the landscape. Look for something that might look like a cave. Is that a cave? It doesn't go deep enough, it looks like. Hmm, that's an interesting little creature there. I am going to scan that. I'm very curious about it. Interesting ball. Very nice. Anyway. Yep, got one right in front of us. And I'm apparently, even though I'm 40 feet away from it, it can still attack me. Love it. Yeah, looks like we got some more balls. What do you know? And a see-through ball. I'll take a look at that. Okay. Is this a cave? Looks like we got a cave. Now, why do we want a cave? You know why we want a cave, right? It's because of these little guys right here. Because guess what? That's hazardous flora. Three, four, and you can guarantee yourself that if you go further and venture into a cave even more, you will likely find a whole lot of them. If you have a deep enough cave. Now, this doesn't look like much of a cave at all, unfortunately. Oh, well, wait a minute. Look at that. Interesting. It opened up a little bit more, but it doesn't look like it's going to give me much. So, that was a fail. Yeah, I got some cobalt by punching that rock. Yay. Squish. That sounded lovely. Alright, so we found a couple more hazardous flora in here. Let's go on to somewhere else. Yeah, I'm just having a great old time of it, aren't I? Just hitting everything. Look for these puffs of green. We'll go ahead and take them. 
Plus we'll get a little extra oxygen out of them. If you really want to go up there and snag some oxygen from the sides of them, you can. Uh, looks like we got another plant there. Good, good. That was a double whammy on that one. Looks like we got a guy over there. So these, this seems to be a planet that happens to have a lot of these uh, nastinesses. Yeah, yeah, I'm making up words as I go. Sue me to me. Very nice. Looks like we got a few more up there. So I could find myself a cave, but this one seems to be extremely popular with uh, lots of hazardous flora everywhere. So stand still for just a moment. Let the uh, graphics catch up to you. There's another one. Whoop. And I found another cave at the same time. Eh, not much of a cave there. No. Gone. What are we up to? Ten? Good. So this doesn't seem to be, like, too difficult of a mission to stay above ground. Looks like we got somebody over here. And possibly another cave. It wants me to go that way, but I can see that there's something right over here. So I'll go ahead and take it. There we go. And is this another cave? Kind of. Not much of one, no. It doesn't look like the caves on this planet are really that great. Or at least the ones that I found, anyway. So, Hey, look, there's another one right there. Gone. Looks like there's one right in front of me over here. Yep, one of those guys. So I guess we are just going to stay above the ground the whole time. No big deal. We're at 13. We just need a couple more. And then we're all done. So, this was a very unexciting anomaly mission. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been gathering poop again. You know, but the good news is, is that you're going to get 1,800 Quicksilver out of this. And you know there's that lovely cake that they've got in the store right now that is, uh... Slowly we are getting, uh... Getting closer and closer to achieving that one fully. We can gather that one for 3,000 Quicksilver. Oh, looks like our last one is right here. And there we go. Mission complete. So where our ship? Where would we park our car? You'd think I'd see it. It should be on my radar at the top. There we go, that way. All right. So that wasn't bad. That was fairly straightforward. Hey, you discovered a plant, huh? That's great. Alright, there's our ship. Alright, good deal. So, looks like we just need to return to the Nexus. We don't have to deliver the plants to anybody or any of that nonsense. Eh, looks like a couple right there. And in we go. And blast out into space, pulling the anomaly. And here we go. And that looks like it for this entire thing. So we talked a little bit about the possibility of an update. So again, looks like they're going to wait till next week at the very least. I know a lot of folks are saying, well, maybe perhaps the beginning of March, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of sales. The sales, I expect, let's keep an eye very closely on this coming Sunday. We're going to watch Twitter. We're going to watch specifically Sean Murray's account. We're going to see if he broadcasts any other emojis. I know everybody went nuts over that last emoji that he just did with the thoughtful face. And it was like, yeah, but he was just talking about how No Man's Sky is having a quick uptick lately. So I haven't seen it personally. But that's, that's just because it went on sale on PlayStation 5 and not the other platforms yet. So I think once the other platforms go on sale, we're gonna see something on that. So watch for this Sunday. Let's see what happens. And we can go from there. So we've completed our mission, we got our 1800. Let's take a quick ride, or, or spin through the Quicksilver dude over here. And just take a look at the number one. 
There we go. We're at 12%. This morning it was at like 3 or 4%. So that is fantastic. Um, I didn't get this one yet. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. And this was the aquatic one that just got done as well. I'm not as keen on gathering a whole lot of these. I'll probably gather them more as time goes by. But just never have. I don't know why. But the capes, man. Yeah, I'm loving the capes. I mean... The one we have right now, this one is just really freaking awesome. He's got a cape too, but they haven't written the script yet to allow us to see everybody else's capes. So, I know that they've worked on that. It just hasn't been completed yet. So, um, I'm over there. Okay, great. So, my thought is, even though I did say I was really hoping for this week, possibly the week after, it is turning out to be the week after. I really think next week's going to be it. So, sometime on either Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to see the... Uh, of course, the 22nd falls on what day of the week? Let's see. Today is the 17th, so that's going to be a Wednesday. So we could see the update happen on Wednesday. If they do an expedition, it will likely be either the same day or we'll try to follow on the very next day. Usually Thursdays is when the expeditions usually start. Um, and that's when I expect to see that. When the expedition starts, I'm just going to put this out there so you all know this. On the Friday that the expedition, the week that the expedition is going to happen, that Friday I'm going to try to take off from my secular work and take a holiday or vacation day as we call it here in the U.S. Um, and actually I'm going to see if I can't stream live doing the expedition. I'm not even going to take a peek at it until I actually stream it. So it'll be all brand new to everybody. We'll look through it together. We'll, we'll stumble through it together. We'll make lots of mistakes. And uh, it makes for good entertainment, you know? And I, I'm, I'm the first person to admit I'm, I'm not the perfect player here, guys. You know, I, I just do the best I can and I have fun and that's the whole point behind all this. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was a little bit of an eye opener for the Anomaly mission, but at the same time, a little bit more entertainment. But that's pretty much all I've got for you today. Really appreciate you watching, and I may put, be putting out a video later for some other stuff. So keep an eye open, especially tomorrow morning. Uh, so again, want to thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, and have a great evening, everybody.